Hi, uh, welcome to my student interview video. So I decided to interview my friend Elizabeth Montague. Um, like me, she had a couple musical experiences in high school. Like we did the jazz band together in grade nine and we both participated in the musical that our school put on at least once in our high school careers. Um, so I chose to do her because I knew she had somewhat of a musical background and I really wanted to go in depth of what she thought about music and how it impacted her life. Go. Yeah, I did play an instrument. I played the trombone in high school from grade 9 all the way to the end of grade 10. So, music was first introduced in my life when I was younger and I took piano lessons. I I took these classes to help me with dance so I could learn how to, like, that. ah, let me do it. That's okay, no, it's okay, just keep going. Okay, uh, to be better with rhythm and counting, and then after a while, like, I just <laughs> didn't feel a piano, so I dropped out yeah. of that, and then I knew I had better opportunities in high school with different instruments, so I was reintroduced into music and found a better passion for it. So the experience I had with music in school is in grade school they offered um, no music classes but they but they did have a choir mm -hmm. uh, cl like a choir group so you're able to join that and get an experience through that I guess some mm -hmm. people had like were able to play the instrument if you knew how and then in high school um, they offered music classes as well as an after school program of jazz band so that's how I got my experience in with music. So I didn't continue uh, with music because once I had to choose a career path I wanted to go with, I saw music more as a hobby than it would be a career for me because it was more of a way, like a distraction to de-stress myself and something I'd want to be doing like for the rest of my life. Like I just feel like it's a way to like, yeah, re I can't remember <laughs> like just liberate yourself a bit, yeah. you know, like focus on like hard stuff. <laughs> I said business. I just <clears throat> felt more of a connection. I'm more of a math oriented person as well. So. Uh, so what music means to me is first off, it's a way of like self expression. So you can show kind of who you are and hear it through people's music. You can hear their passion if they're actually someone devoted to the instrument and the music, as well as it. It is an outlet for creativity because you can compose your own uh, songs and it's just showing who you are through your music and as well as like if you're doing a cover by someone you can change it as well and just make it your own. Mm -hmm. I also take it as learning music is I don't know kind of like a combination of many life lessons like for example like <laughs> if you're learning piano like yeah. you think how is that going to apply to my life but now you you're gonna have like better posture because you always mm. gotta think about it. Like stand up straight while you're playing. <laughs> Stay on like your rhythm, like counting your rhythm, count like mm -hmm. and counting as well. And that can help you like maybe you're taking dance like as I did, like that helped me in that way. So mm. I think it's a big combination of all that. So something I learned throughout this interview is that music has the power to impact people's lives, whether they view it as a career path or simply an escape or just another way to relax. Um, in my friend Elizabeth's case, I learned that it helps her with things such as counting and dance or even just to distress herself when taking a break from studying. This taught me how important music education really is because you're not just teaching a student how to play a musical instrument, but you're also teaching them valuable life lessons at the same time. It also shows us how the purpose of being a music educator is not to perform professional musicians, but rather to make them fall in love with music and discover all the benefits from it. Thanks for watching.